let's now check in with meteorologist John Adams for a look at our forecast. Now, John, it's been a pretty nice day. Occasional rain showers popping up out of nowhere, but it's been pretty nice. Yeah, that humidity has been up there, but uh, temperatures are beginning to recover a little bit. This is the first time in the last, uh, well, the last week that we have hit 90 degrees. Uh, we did do that this afternoon, and we're going to see the temperature continue to go up from there as we go through the week. Still got that frontal boundary near the Texas coast, and that's helped to trigger more showers and thunderstorms today like it did yesterday. And we've seen a little bit of activity in East Texas developing along I-20 and moving northward. This is going to be it, though. Once this ends, uh, we will see several days without rain in the East Texas area, and that's what the model is going to show you here as Futurecast keeps that frontal boundary near the coast but then washes it out. As we go through the afternoons in East Texas, we'll have partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. Humidity will be up, but not anything really in the way of rainfall expected to come out of that system as we go through Tuesday and on into Wednesday afternoon, stopping it here at noontime, but showing nothing as we go on into the afternoon there on Wednesday and on into the early morning hours of Thursday. Uh, the uh, tropics remain pretty quiet, uh, so nothing really developing down in the Gulf at this point. Normally, we're 94 to 96 on this date with the high temperatures still running below their upper 80s for deep east Texas to lower 90s as you move northward across the interstates and get into some of our northern counties. Temperatures right now remain pretty close to what the highs were. Haven't had time to cool down a bit as we'll be getting closer to sunset here. And Monday afternoon, we're expecting our high temperatures to creep upward. So we'll be into the low to mid 90s, almost back to normal at most locations. And as we check the next seven days, that trend is just going to stay with us with the normal high running about 96 degrees and our actual highs running pretty close to the mid 90s. They do begin to come off a bit on Sunday. We'll have our next chance for rainfall where we'll put just a 20% chance in the picture for Sunday in that chance of rain and that will help to keep those temperatures coming down just a little bit. Overnight expect a low temperature near 76 degrees. We'll have mostly clear skies and a light south wind. For tomorrow expect a high near 93. It's going to be mostly sunny and the heat index is going to start to come back into play. Could be as high as 106 there as we go into the afternoon with the combination of the temperature and the humidity. So make sure you stay hydrated and find you a way to stay cool and take some breaks in a cool area during the afternoons, especially over the next seven days. We got a good start to the week. Lots of sunshine. But those temperatures back up to normal there by the middle of the week, if not before. And our low temperatures will continue to run into the 70s, just a tad above the normal for this time of the year. For deep east Texas, you'll also get a good start to your week as you'll have some sunny skies. Hot temperatures, though, for the rest of the week with the highs into the mid 70s, mid 90s rather, overnight low temperatures are going to be in the 70s. If you need to check that forecast, it's at our website, KETK.com. Thank you, John. Well, we have been following a major crash that